against Conley. Pass to Allen. Over McDaniels. Allen can't get it to go. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Shot is good by Edwards. Flashing pretty advanced shot creation skills. I see many good defense, better offense moments in the future of Anthony Edwards. Oh, rejected by McDaniels. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. And Phoenix has possession. Booker, good. Nice read from the veteran Durant that time, recognizing the defense had overcommitted. Pass to Gobert. Now here's McDaniels. Outside Edwards. From deep. Kevin Durant with a rebound. The Suns have gone one for three so far. The 17-footer. And that one drops. I don't think KD's mid-range game gets enough recognition. I mean, if he has any kind of space, that mid-range shot is like a layup for him. Now here's McDaniels. Pass to Edwards. That one's good, and it's Conley who picks up the assist. Edwards got the second bucket on the night. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It was so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Full throttle, pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. I like that. Free throw. He hits the second from the line. The Timberwolves have gone two of three from the floor. Pass to Towns. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Kevin Durant, first personal foul, first team foul. At the line for Minnesota, Jaden McDaniel.
And that one misses. Known as a versatile and tremendous defender, McDaniels also continues to make real good progress as a scorer. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Pass to Gobert. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. They've hit four of their first five shots. Great execution and attention to detail. Nurkic with the ball. Allen outside. Knocks it down from distance. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Pass to Towns. And here's Edwards. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Beal. Again, the Timberwolves score. Hey, he's so strong in the upper body. You're not going to alter Edwards' shot with just a little bump. It's Beal on the wing. Guarded by Edwards. The kick to Durant. And the Suns get another three. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Conley. Yet to see a basket. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Yusuf Nurkic picks one up. Staying strong against the defense. Rudy insists on getting that shot off. Rudy, go there. Falls for Gobert. Look, we all know Rudy Gobert is a force on defense, but you can't afford to ever ignore this guy. I mean, he's got the physical gifts to make problems anywhere on the floor. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Duran who brings up the ball for Phoenix. Pass to Nurkic. It's blocked by Gobert. This is what Gobert is known for. His ability to swap shots away with ease. Well, plenty of give and take so far. The six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. against Booker. And the layup is good off the glass. Booker's got his second basket of the game. That's a really tough shot for most. Not Devin Booker. He's just at another level. McDaniels against Nurkic. McDaniels, that's good. Wow, eight lead changes in the first half. Unbelievable. Yeah, both sides digging in for what looks like a war. Beal into the lane. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Yeah, and there's just so much variety to Beal's game. I mean, he's great off the catch and in transition. And right there, making a play off the bounce.
down the first one. Every year we hear a bunch of wild Bradley Beal trade rumors. It's because he's that good. And Beal drops them both. The Timberwolves trail. Conley looking for an opening. Pass to Towns. And here's McDaniels. Allen defending. Shot clock at five. McDaniels can't hit. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. Here's Durant. Sinks that one from the post. Durant's got seven points. Nice handles, tight handles, fluid handles, right into a shooting motion. Durant able to do everything on the offensive end. Now here's Edwards. He has six from 15 feet away. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Give him eight points now. Here's Booker. Nurkic passes to Beal. Durant. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Pass to Towns. This one for three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Towns takes a lot of pride in knocking down threes. He's as gifted a shooter as we have at the center position. Durant with it. He's got nine. Here's Beal. And another basket for Phoenix. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Minnesota calls timeout. All right, that was a Timberwolves dancer. Make some noise. Checked in for Gobert. Anderson comes in for McDaniels. Alexander Walker. He's checked in for Anthony Edwards. And it's Morris in for Conley. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. Eubanks. He's checked in for Nurkic. Lowell comes in for Durant. O'Neal. He's checked in for Allen. And it's Gordon in for Devin Booker. Here's Eubanks. After the Timberwolves picking up a basket a moment ago. Beal gets the bucket. The mid-range jumper is a handy tool for Beal. A lot of his shots come from that area. He's got a ton of confidence in it. Pass to Alexander Walker. Fires it. And another basket for Minnesota. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Hey, guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Puts it up. O'Neal misses. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for the T-Wolves. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Towns attacks the basket with such a ferocity and never give up attitude. I love that about him, guys. Gordon down low. Covered by Towns. Shot is good by Gordon. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Here's Morris. Deflected. They retain possession. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And the foul called on the Phoenix Suns. At the line for your triple balls. Yeah, 
And he drops the first. So he gets them both. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. And here's Gordon. Pass to Beal. Here's O'Neal. Anderson covers. Shot clock at six. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's Eubanks. Banked it in off the glass. Wow. They're really being taken advantage of defensively out there. No rim protection whatsoever. Outside, Anderson. And denied! He sends it right off the glass. Leo finds Bull. Morris against Beal. Sinks another one. He's on a roll, starting four for four. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. Here's Reed. That shot, no good. Some solid D from Eubanks. To the middle. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And now a four-point Phoenix lead. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. Here's Anderson. Blocked! Heel against Morris. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Suns. You have to give them credit for their defense here in the early stages. I mean, they've shown tremendous anticipation on the same page as a unit defensively, especially on those block shots. And I've also really liked how aggressive they've been in the open floor. I mean, when they see a chance to push it, they go for it. A minute 15 left in the first. Morris passes to Towns. They need this. Oh, it's blocked by Bull. You've got to be aware of Bull. Bull. He's got a 7 8 wingspan. If you are anywhere near him, back up even more to make sure you can get that shot off. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Gordon's gotten his second bucket. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for him? And he makes it. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Here's Gordon. And it's Phoenix with another. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now here's Reed. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Just five to shoot. Here's Alexander Walker. And there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. So wide open there. He said, why not? But that's like a warm-up shot for him. Here's Beal. And he banks in the layup. Beal's got 15. A high-powered offensive talent. It's like these contested shots simply don't bother Beal as much as other players. Bradley Beal has been leading the charge for Phoenix. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And let's get you back to the action as game two is getting underway. All right, guys, what stands out to you from the Suns in this one? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. Mike Conley out there with Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Then there's Edwards. Then there's Kyle Anderson. And it's Gobert in at the five, down low. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the T-Wolves. Now here's Conley, still without a bucket. Rebounded by Nurkic. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. Now, this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. 
Here's Booker. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. Shooting two. No good on that one. Yeah, just an offensive machine. Booker generates points consistently night in and night out. And the Timberwolves making a change here. McDaniels checked in. Allen, he's checked in for the Suns. And the second free throw is good. And it's Conley with the ball for Minnesota. They trail by six. Here's Edwards. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Edwards has got ten points. Edwards just doesn't allow defenders to bottle him up. Great focus and persistence. Here's Booker. Ooh, some contact there. No issue for Booker, though. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. It's McDaniels on the wing. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. You're not going to get every shot off clean. And Daniels recognizes that and made the adjustment accordingly. Pass to Nurkic. Booker with it. Clock at six. The three is up. And the Suns get another three. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Tipped away. Anderson passes to Conley. Hey, puts up a three. Anderson can't get it to go. Phoenix has gone three of three from outside here in this one. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Gordon up again. Controls the rebound and the putback. And it's a nine-point Suns lead. And for Nurkic, one of his key attributes, the ability to keep the play alive on the glass. Timeout called, the Timberwolves. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. From deep, Conley bearing his second of three attempts. Well, Conley can be a volume score from the arc. The defense can't let him just have those opportunities. Booker, pass to Durant. Gordon outside for three. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got three assists in the game. And that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's McDaniels. Give him eight. And another three for Minnesota. I really like the way they're spacing the floor this quarter. Their three-point percentage has really gone up. Oh, Booker in close. <laughs> There's nothing you can do if you're the defense. Booker is so solid at muscling shots in through contact. Gordon against Edwards. And Nurkic with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. The last touch by Nurkic. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Anderson, and Minnesota again with the bucket. 
Phoenix has got all four threes to drop from downtown in this game. Hooker, pass to Durant. Shoots over Anderson. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Well, that's virtually impossible to defend. I mean, with Durant's length, those long arms, and the high arcing shot that he shoots, the best you can do as a defender is challenge him and hope he misses. Gobert finds Edwards. And another three for Minnesota. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. You know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Allen gets it to go on the assist by Booker. Allen's got his second basket on the night. Here's Anderson. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Suns on D. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Anderson's gotten four this quarter. Pass to Nurkic. Ooh, poked away. Ooh, go bear with a steal. Edwards against Booker. Edwards, a pass to Gobert. Unloads from 13. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Well, McDaniels wasn't going to be denied there. Getting the bucket and has a chance for one more. Reed's checked in for Anderson. At the line for your Timberwolves, Jaden McDaniels. Calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Booker's got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. Pass to Allen. Fast break, Minnesota. Here's Conley. Over Booker. The shot by Conley. No good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways. But they do have an edge on the board. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Here's Gobert. Oh, Nurkic with the block. Showing off the timing and awareness defensively. Better think twice before challenging Nurkic. Outside Durant. And Durant slams it home. Now this is impressive. Durant showing you all of that creativity with that one. Conley passes to Gobert. McDaniels up top. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. For three, Booker. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And it's an eight-point Suns lead. You cannot sleep on KD's length now. He's excellent at using that length on the offensive board. From deep, Conley. Goes back up. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. 
Alexander Walker, he's checked in for McDaniels. And it's Morris in for Mike Conley. And the Suns will go for a different look here. Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Bowl comes in for Durant. O'Neal, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Bradley Beal in for Gordon. Phoenix has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Booker, pass to Bowl. Beal outside. Off target from three point range. You know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. In transition, here come the Suns. Nice hustle from Bowl in transition. The big fella getting those feet up and down and able to finish in transition. Morris against Booker. Now here's Gobert. Seven points in the game. Five on the clock. And that one good. Edwards got seven points for the quarter. Boy, tonight just gives you a picture of the potential of Edwards. I mean, this guy is an electrifying scoring guard. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. to Gobert. Towns outside. Pass to Morris. And another basket for Minnesota. That's a part of his game that Towns has really developed in this time in the league. Becoming a good passer. For three, Booker. It's rebounded by Rudy Gobert. Yeah, and they've taken their foot off the gas a little. They were much more aggressive to start the game and really getting at their opponent in early foul trouble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. They've got to get back to that. Don't go away from that. It's been working so well for them. Stay with it. Here's Alexander Walker, hounded by Beal. That ties the game. Gobert's got nine points in the quarter. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now that they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. The consistency of Beal's scoring has been terrific. And of course, his teammates keep working hard to facilitate to him. Morris. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Nice use of the step back to create space. Hook loose. Stolen by Reed. Pass to Alexander Walker. Morris against Booker. Got a piece of it. To the paint. Four on the clock. And it's powered home by Towns. Well-coordinated play there. I mean, Towns rolls off at the right time. So important. The timing of that roll shows good finishing ability on the move. 
Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Morris. Got it. Good job in the low post. Morris has got six. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. Outside bowl from downtown. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. And the Suns lead by one. Shot from the wing. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Suns on top, leading by one. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks a lot. I'm with Frank Vogel and Coach. What's going to be critical in the second half to get this win? Well, it just be us. Okay, we got to go on the free point line, keep him off the free throw line, make him make a test of two. We got to move the basketball offensively. Your expectations are always high defensively. Thank you, Coach. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Halfway through this round one matchup of the NBA playoffs, Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaq. And guys, for the Suns, getting out to a 2-0 lead in the series would mean so much to them. And it looks like this game could go down to the wire trying to achieve that goal. This game is definitely still up for grabs, the way these two teams are battling. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? Well, I like what I'm seeing on the offensive end. They're keeping things simple getting to their spots and executing. Nothing fancy. Kind of like Shaq Sue. Shaq, what do you think about Minnesota? Well, their poor rebounding is really hurting. It hasn't killed them on the scoreboard yet, but they need to pick it up. This is the game they can win. If they come out hustling in the second half, they can win. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. again as we return to our coverage of round one. How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? And if he felt any pressure coming into this game, he sure hasn't shown it. What a sensational start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this. He really eats that stuff up. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. Second half underway. Here's who Frank Vogel's got on the floor. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal, the backcourt, and KD up front. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Grayson Allen. Nurkic inside. He's against Gobert. Nurkic passes to Durant. And Gobert with a block. It's McDaniels on the wing. Allen defending. McDaniels, that's good. A guy who wants to make a big impact. McDaniels is just going off. <laughs> no debate there. He got him. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. First two foul. At the ball for the Suns, Kevin Durant. Two shots. First free throw is good. Talk about a modicum of consistency. Kevin Durant has played at an elite level since he's been in the league, and that's a lot of years, and continuing to do just that. And both free throws good for Durant. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. And so Conley will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's a one-point game. Towns passes to Conley. Fires the three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Towns. Towns has got his third assist of the night. Even when he's well covered, Conley can score. He just gets crafty and finds the shot. Now here's Allen. Pass to Nurkic. Booker with it. And it's Gobert picking him up. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. Second team foul. Shooting for Phoenix. Devin Booker at the line for two. That 
that free throw good from Booker. Both free throws good from Booker. Minnesota's gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Pass to Towns. Shoots over Durant. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Excellent execution coming out of the break. They've taken three shots and made three shots. Allen with it. McDaniels covered. McDaniels against Allen. Using his post moves to get the two points. Allen's got eight points. Oh, I love watching him carve his way inside and capitalize. Pass to Towns. Here's Gobert. That shot is off. Nurkic with some nice D. Booker against Conley. And another basket for Phoenix. Having his way with the defense, Booker creates separation and nails the shot. Here's Edwards. From the top of the key, he buries it. He's got 17. They're on fire right now. Shooting 80% to start the second half. Phoenix calls timeout. Boy, you gotta like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. He's getting loose and doing work. They want to talk this over and find some answers. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Durant, the pass to Allen. The kick to Durant. Six to shoot from the high post. Count the basket and the foul. Rudy Gobert picks one up. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. Free throw is good from Durant. And it's Conley with the ball for Minnesota. They trail by three. Uses the glass on the layup. Conley's got 10 points in the game. <laughs> a savvy playmaker with a great handle. Conley runs such a smooth pick and roll. And the basket by Beal. Boy, what a nifty play off the dribble there. Creates barely enough space to get off the shot. Outside Conley. Inside. Here's Towns. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. So at least the D was going for it. But he got to the ball just a moment late. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Anderson's checked in. And a change for the Suns. Gordon's checked in. Conley against Beal. Pass to Nurkic. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Daniels, that's good. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Beal against Conley. Good work there as it goes. Beal's got four points now in the quarter. Check out Beal with the floater. Beating the coverage with a graceful shot. Towns gets the bucket. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. <laughs> Just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Now here's Durant. Gordon outside. And 
That comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got his fourth assist with that last one. Good quickness on the catch and shoot. Gordon giving the defense no time to react off the pass. Edwards against Gordon. Shot is good by Edwards. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now here's Allen. Give him eight points now. Shot from the low post is good. Allen's got ten points. How about the amazing crossover there? Demonstrating exactly how dangerous he can be when he's got the rock in his hand. Two open that time. Made it look easy. And the Timberwolves lead by three. You got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter. Actually destroying the opponent. Field pass to Durant. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Anderson. Durant, no good. Minnesota has gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. You know, somehow Durant is still a bit overlooked as a defender and shot blocker. Here's Beal. And the baseline jumper Timeout, goes Timeout. down. Beal's got 26. Timeout. Or he can take over in a nanosecond. I mean, once he catches fire, it's difficult to squelch it. And Minnesota calls time here. comes in for McDaniels, and it's Morris in for Mike Conley. Bowl, he's checked in for Phoenix. O'Neal comes in for Allen. Here's Alexander Walker. Over Gordon, and counted from 19 feet away. Alexander Walker's got his third bucket of the night. And so Beal will bring it up to the Phoenix Suns. It's a three-point game. Pass to Gordon. Inside, O'Neal got it. O'Neal's gotten his first bucket of the night. Excellent tempo on the play, and he leads his teammate perfectly. Left side, Edwards. And stolen by Durant. And stolen by Edwards. It counts, and the foul. It goes on Kevin Durant. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet, and it's come up big a few times for them. I love the fact they've done tremendous work on the offensive glass. A lot of second chance opportunities as they've kept that ball alive. The Suns trailing. It's Beal on the wing, guarded by Morris. O'Neal passes to Durant. Back to O'Neal. Pocket six. Another three for Phoenix. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Reed, and here's Edwards outside. Knocks down the triple. Edwards has got ten points here in the second half. He drilled one from deep in the first half, doing it again here in the second. A strong finish from KD inside. Even with the defender draped all over him, Durant locked in and laser focused to get that one to go down. Pass to Alexander Walker. Shoots off the step back. And Minnesota again with a bucket. Even if they saw the step back coming, the defense didn't offer much resistance. Here's O'Neal. 
Edwards. Count it. Good. And now a six-point Timberwolf lead. Exactly how you want to run the break. Great execution by Ed. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. You know, he's got to take care of the ball much better than he has been. So by himself, he's accounted for four turnovers. That's way too many. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for Alexander Walker. And the Suns also making a change. Eubanks has checked in. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective. Taking it right to the defense. Outside bowl. Lays it up and banks it in. Bowl's got seven. Bowl more slender, but really showed his strength on that finish inside. He's lean, but he's got some mean to him as well. Left side, Anderson. Just five on the clock. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. Beal shot is good. I mean, capable of playing either guard position, Beal is especially difficult to contain in pick and rolls. Now here's Morris. He has six. Pass to Edwards. The shot goes in. Edwards has got 29 points. Edwards flexing on them now. Bully ball inside. Gordon, the pass to Beal. Over Morris. Another one falls for Phoenix. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. Gordon against Edwards. Yeah, and you know, when Edwards is aggressive, I think it forces defenders to try to get physical back, and when he's close to the rim, he usually is able to draw the foul as a result. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Already growing a reputation as one of the game's most notorious trash talkers. Edwards is just having fun out there. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Conley's checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Gordon. Good on the second one. And Booker has got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. Pass to O'Neal for the tie. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got six assists in the game. And that's why Booker is one of the best passers in our game. Here's Towns, buried from 15 feet out. Towns has got 12 now in this quarter. The mid-range jumper isn't the most popular shot these days, but it's working for them. I love that mid-range shot. It's definitely giving the defender something extra to think about. Booker, good. Incredible balance to convert the tough basket. Booker doesn't play scared around the rim. And it's powered home by Towns. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes two points, moves on. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. Man, that one's good. Oh. You know, I think it's all about Bowles' reeks. Clearing the glass and then going right back up with it right away. Anthony Edwards has been on display for Minnesota. He's been an offensive force. Now with over 30 points after the quarter. We'll be right back. And now we take a listen in to a recent huddle from Frank Vogel. Play for each other. Creators and receivers. Okay. Wanting everyone on the same page offensively. Frank Vogel saying to each man, do it for your teammates. 
Yeah, I like that he's promoting the spirit, the camaraderie between the guys. When they're working together, they're a lot harder to stop. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining 2K Sports and our coverage of this first round. They have their two big men out there, Towns and Gobert, working inside. Monte Morris is out there with Mike Conley. And it's McDaniels in at the three, small forward. So that's the Timberwolves five. And it's the Suns with the ball. After the Timberwolves, picking up a basket a moment ago. Here's O'Neal. It's rebounded by Morris. The Timberwolves trail. An easy two on the layup. This is the very definition of a back and forth contest. Yes, neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. O'Neal inside. Towns on him. Yep, that one's good. And the Suns lead by one. The defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. Outside McDaniels. Up to Morris. And Jade McDaniels picks up the foul. So that'll be a second foul of the game. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Pass to Allen. Three pointer. And the Suns get another three. That's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Morris against Gordon. Outside Conley. The three ball. Count it. And it's Morris with the assist. Morris has got four assists now tonight. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Outside Durant. Back to Booker. Up and over Conley. And Gobert with a block. Gordon against Morris. Pass to Towns. The kick out to Conley. Six on the shot clock. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. He's flipped the script here in this half. Shooting a much higher percentage from the field. Now Booker. Up and over Conley. Another one falls for Phoenix. A silky mid-range jumper by Booker. Attacking without any hesitation. Pass to Towns. And stolen by Booker. Gordon against Morris. Tips. Now Conley. Shoots over Booker. The shot by Conley. No good. He was so well positioned to interfere with the shot. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot. You can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jump into a tough one. And Gobert with a block. And it's out of bounds. Still Phoenix's ball. Phoenix's ball. is at three. Here's Gordon. That one's good. This game is all even. And Gordon's so efficient as a scorer, especially from the mid-range where it's almost automatic. Allen against McDaniels. Gets it to go. He's now nine for 11 on the night. Rock the baby. Working the size advantage inside. Outside Durant to take the lead. Rebound Minnesota. Gobert's got rebound number five here tonight. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. He didn't have his feet planted. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Anthony Edwards has checked in for Morris.
go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Over that last break, I got a chance to hear what Chris Finch said to the team. He told the team he has complete faith in them, saying, we're right there. Now we just got to make that push and really take hold of the game. We can do that. To me, it looked like his players are on the same page with him. You guys, back to you. Great work, Ali. Thanks. Yeah, this is how Conley plays. Extremely efficient. He just takes what the defense allows. Nurkic passes to Durant. Gets to the corner and hits it. Durant's got nine points now in the second half. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's McDaniels. Here's Conley. Again, the Timberwolves score. What an incredible ankle breaker to help create space for a shot. Allen outside. Pass to Durant. Booker with it. Up and over Conley. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. Yeah, you expect tremendous effort from a scorer like Booker, but it's still impressive to see him deliver it. Gobert passes to McDaniels. Over Allen. And Minnesota again with a bucket. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Now here's Nurkic. Over Gobert. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got six rebounds here tonight. Conley against Durant. Here's Gobert. Get out of Gobert's way. Wow. Making a play right there. Gobert just using his side. Conley against Booker. And there's the lob. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Edwards for three. And the Timberwolves hit again from the His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. To the wing on the left. Nurkic against Gobert. Here's Durant. Can they get it? KD won't be stopped. Durant has definitely been on one tonight. Knocking down shots for himself at a high rate. And, yep, it's good. Towns has got 29 points. An elite score, demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. Allen, pass to Booker. Ooh, Booker doing Booker things. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. Pass to Gobert. It's McDaniels on the wing. Shot from 12, and they recover it. Here's Conley. Here's Towns. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. And the Suns making a change here. Beals checked in. At the line for your two. Find the lane. That one misses for Towns. One of the things I love about Towns is how versatile he is. He's a big guy who continues to be a matchup nightmare for defense. He drops it from range. And we've seen Durant now hit big shots before. He's no stranger to the moment. Actually, this guy relishes the moment. Here's Towns. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Kevin Durant. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got it good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Big break. Big break. Good shot. And he makes it first. Towns nails them both. And Booker's got the ball here for Phoenix. Timeout, Phoenix timeout. calls timeout. Boy, you gotta like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. He's getting to the rack all game. If they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night.
the New Balance Player of the Game, Carl Anthony Towns. We saw outstanding focus and really good energy from him all the minutes he was on the floor. He was determined to make an impact every time he touched the ball, and he did just that. Guys on both squads could learn a lot from what he did here tonight. Boy, he is raising his game in the postseason, no doubt about it. Only certain players respond to playoff pressure like he has. The impressive stuff. Booker against Conley. Fades and shoots. And the Suns get another three. Huge, man. I mean, the defense knows what Booker is capable of, but cannot get a stop. Gobert passes to Edwards. Pass to Towns. Drills it from deep. Towns has got 36 points. Not much you can do to stop this J when Towns gets into the rhythm. Booker. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Hey, defense has taken a back burner. Secondary on the marquee, but who doesn't love a team like this? Let's go. I like offense. Bowl, he's checked in for the sun. First free throw is good. And that increases the lead to six. So both free throws good, and it's a seven-point game. Since in an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalize on it. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Now here's Edwards. Pass to Towns. The shot's good. Towns has got 40 points. Taking the contact and scoring. Towns not to be denied at the bucket there. Here's Bull. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got assist number eight here already in the game. 11 left in the fourth quarter here. Edwards can't hit. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those three throws. And that brings him within five. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. And so he hits both. Well, that time he made the most of that trip to the line and cuts the deficit. And Minnesota calls time here. They're up by four. 103 left to play in the fourth quarter.
Edwards looking for an opening. Rejected by Bowl. Down low. Yes! Talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Here's Edwards. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Second personal foul. 15 fouls. At the ball, to your two so good, Edwards. And there's the cherry on top. Excellent trip up the floor to build out this lead. And right here, they can't waste any time. No, you need a quick bucket and then a quick run. And it's in. Oh, a high-volume score with just too many moves to count. Booker is so dependable under pressure. And Minnesota calls time here. They lead by three. There's 25 seconds left in the game. Coming up clutch there at the line, making it a two-possession game. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. They're down by five. 23 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? No doubt. They've got to get a quick bucket here. Yeah, and they need it hiccup fast. I mean, they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here, no doubt. in terms of making. He gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. McCauley could put this team in a good position here. He's just got to relax and trust his mechanics. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a five-point game. And Booker has got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. 
Well, something that is great about him, he doesn't take all outside shots. I mean, Devin can score it inside, too. And now they foul and stop the clock. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. They're one of the best leaders in the NBA. This team loves having Mike Conley in their locker room. And so he drops them both, and it's a five-point game. Unflappable. This guy relishes being the man to put the game away. The open J off the mark. So we see the Timberwolves get the win here. It might have been just game two of the series, but this one felt like a must win. I just love the fire they played with tonight. It's the playoffs, and they really brought the energy. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. I'm here with Carl Anthony Towns, and Carl, it was a bit of a shootout out there, but you got it done. How special to you was this win? I mean, it was big for a team that shoots threes like they do. It's about continuing to just keep playing hard and uh, find ways to win, and we found a way to win tonight. It's all about finding a way. Thanks, Kat. All right, Allie, thank you. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. So long, everybody.